You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Live. Well, before Tom Brady was the GOAT, there was a GOAT with my 49ers by the name of Joe Montana. Four time Super Bowl winning quarterback, Joe Montana. Now, if you guys watched this channel, watched the main channel, Black and White Sports, many months ago, many months ago, prior to the NFL draft, we were having a live, live stream. One of our subs said, hey, Rhodes, who would you take at quarterback? If you had a pick in the draft, I said, Mac Jones. He was the most NFL-ready quarterback in the draft. I thought he was the one that had the most pro potential. When I say that, I'm talking 12, 15-year starter potential to eventually win a Super Bowl kind of thing. Okay? Um, not backup. Starter. All right? And if, you, if you're if you a starter for 12 or 15 years, you're a pretty damn good NFL quarterback. Well, the GOAT has come out, and he has echoed some things that, well, the former GOAT anyway, has come out and echoed some things that I said I wouldn't have taken Trey Lance. All right? Taking some heat from 49ers fans for that. I don't care. I'm a 49ers fan. I still think Mac Jones should have been the selection. And I have also told you on this channel that, and in fact, I did a video about a month ago where it came out that Kyle Shanahan, I mean, it was confirmed. Kyle Shanahan, Mac Jones was his pick. Uh, now, I have heard, I've been told that John Lynch slash Adam Peters and some other people in the organization really talked Kyle Shanahan out of Mac Jones into Trey Lance. We don't know if that's going to work out yet. We don't. But Joe Montana has said he wouldn't have selected Trey Lance. He would have drafted Mac Jones. Well, here we go. Joe Montana claims he wouldn't have selected Trey Lance over Mac Jones with the third overall pick in the NFL draft. Quote, if I were the 49ers, I would have taken the kid from Alabama last year, Mac Jones. He said on ESPN's College Football Live Tuesday, Nothing against the guy that they took, Trey Lance, but more pro-style offense, more used to being in tough situations. Mac Jones, the eventual 15th overall pick by the Patriots, has been impressive through his first eight games. He has thrown 1,997 yards with a 68.1% completion percentage. And Joe goes on to talk about how Alabama reminds him of UFC of old. Quote, they are putting out quarterbacks like crazy, and I think the kid Bryce Young that is there now is a lot of fun to watch. Alabama has such great teams and are so far above the other teams that their talent level usually carries them. Now, the one they, thing that should be mentioned here that, that Gary Sheffield goes on, this is outkick, goes on to talk about is the fact that, you know, Mac Jones may have been drafted into the perfect situation. I do tend to agree with that. I think there were two offensive coordinators that Mack would have excelled under. Josh McDaniels and the others, Kyle Shanahan, okay? Uh, Mac Jones is a prototypical draw him up in the lab uh, kind of quarterback. Mac Jones is for Kyle Shanahan. And, uh, you know, Kyle Shanahan's seat is finally getting warm in San Francisco. Why? Because if you take out the Super Bowl year, Kyle Shanahan is 19 and 36 as a head coach. I think we all know that has to do with quarterback. Um, I did not like the fact that the 49ers traded away to the farm for a guy that only played one game last year because of COVID, Trey Lance. And look, there's rumors coming out of 49ers land. And I think we've seen it kind of in some games that he's been in. Trey Lance is not ready to play. And right now, you cannot give the team to Trey Lance because Jimmy G is playing pretty well. Okay? Uh, the fact is, the Niners have a pretty good win-loss record with Jimmy G at quarterback. But now, this shines even more light on the situation because, you know, when that trade first happened, Chris Sims come out and said it, said it's Mac Jones. And then, and then the story started coming out that, yes, in fact, it, it was, was Matt Jones for Kyle Shanahan. Now, he has tried to play it off. 
but I've always heard the influence was John Lynch and Adam Peters. Well, if I'm Kyle Shanahan and my seat starts getting hot and I start hearing it from the owner, I'm going to take a step back and be like, wait a minute. Okay. Twice I've had, I've told you who I wanted as my quarterbacks. Kirk Cousins. Well, my GM talked me into Jimmy Garoppolo. Fine. And then I decided to draft a quarterback. I, I tell you it's Mac Jones. And again, John Lynch, Adam Peters, and to a lesser extent, I believe the owner, you guys talked me into Trey Lance. Now, I've got, I've got different speculations as to why that is. A lot of people have said, well, he wanted his own version of Patrick Mahomes. Except here we are, four years into Patrick Mahomes, and people have figured him out to a certain extent. Yikes. And don't get me wrong, I think, I think Patrick Mahomes is still going to be all-time great. But just because a quarterback is mobile and has a rocket arm doesn't mean he's going to be successful. In, in, in fact, when I see Trey Lance on the field and I watch him play, it's kind of scary how much he looks like Colin Kaepernick. Well, the one thing Colin Kaepernick had an issue with is something that I've noticed with Trey Lance. It's a lack of touch on the ball. Yeah, he's got a cannon. He's got an absolute hose. He can get out and run, just like Kaepernick. But you know what Kaepernick had a problem with? Hitting a running back, running out in the flat. He just wasn't accurate. I've noticed some of those things with Trey Lance. It worries me a lot. Okay, whereas Mac Jones can hit those kind of uh, short and intermediate passes all day long, which is perfect for Shanahan's offense. And Shanahan knew it. Combine that with the fact that the 49ers trade away, traded away the farm, and I see exactly what Joe Montana's talking about. You're sitting back. You're the Niners on draft day. You still got all your draft picks, and boom, you take Mac Jones at 12. I, I, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's the perfect scenario, and you haven't traded away all your draft picks. I don't like where the Niners stand as an organization right now at all because I'm not sold on the quarterback they drafted, and I'm certainly uh, not keen on the idea that they gave up so many picks. We know good and well Joe Montana is a pretty good judge of what good quarterback play looks like, and this also tells me evidently nobody talks to Steve Young or Joe Montana or any of these guys in the organization. Aren't all these guys on call as consultants? Joe Mont nobody could call Joe Montana up and be like, hey, what do you think about these picks? He could have said, look, Mac Jones, pro style offense, big time, big, big time college. And most importantly, and I don't understand why people don't understand that this needs to carry over. Mac Jones had a 77% completion percentage at Alabama last year which meant he was going to be pretty damn accurate in the pros, and that's exactly what's happened. 68% completion percentage. Perfect quarterback for Kyle Shanahan. Oh, boy. This could be the thing that sinks Kyle and John Lynch. Tell me what you think, Black and White Live fans. Joe Montana saying it should have been Mac Jones. I agree. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.